Oahu. So, um, and this is the place where, you know, all the crazy cravings that I have for Hawaiian food, um, which are usually like horrible uh, for you foods, um, which include, um, you know, Spam and Suvi, um, my local moco, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna even get into what it's in these items, but they're so good in my, you know, I love them, but they're not good for you. But <clears throat> I I was like, you know what, I'm on vacation and I'm gonna enjoy my life right now and I, I, I really wanna eat this. Um, and I have to say, I do have to say that even though I've, you know, I was as big am, as I was, I did not let my weight affect how much I was enjoying my trip. Um, you know, I went to the beach and I enjoyed swimming and jumping and doing all this stuff that I, you know, yeah, do, would I look, would I like to look better? Yes. Did I, did, did it let it affect me? Not at all. And I'm really proud of that because if not, then you're just not living your life, you know, fully. So what's the point of that? So, I mean, I did eat, I just, I really wanted to, I really wanted to just enjoy whatever I was doing. And I just decided to just drop the diet, eat whatever I wanted, and that's what I did. And so, <clears throat> and I just continued that in Maui too. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is in terms of the food. So then I came back, I think September 7th, um, and then I came back to like a chaotic work environment where I had to work sometimes like 18 hours a week because things had to get done and... It was just really stressful, but I was like, you know what, let me, I need to start losing weight. So the easiest thing, not the easiest, fastest thing I know to lose weight is ACG. So then I was like, okay, um, let me do that. Um, and I started, but then, you know, I it just, for some reason this time around, ACG was just not, just the thought of like preparing food and eating ACG, like I'd rather not eat than do it for some reason, I don't know. And sometimes I love my ACG food. You guys know so many of the recipes that I love. I was just not in it. And I think it was just more like an overload of like all these different um, diets that I've been on the last like year that have messed up my, my brain and I was so confused. I was like, okay, do I do, <clears throat> ACG, which yeah, it works. It's like you know, low fat and low carb. Or do I do keto, which I enjoyed the two months that I did it, um, which is you know, high fat. But then I'm like, oh my gosh, thinking about eating that much fat again after I did raw and like animal products after I did like vegan raw, I was just like, oh my god, I don't really want that because I felt so great doing you know, raw vegan and eating all these you know, mean fruits and vegetables. But then I was like, okay, well, but that's high carb. Do I, you know, do I do high fat, high carb? I was just like, oh my God, you know, like, what do I do? Just tell me what to do. I seriously was just like, oh. so I started doing ACG and I was like, it's not working. Like, just stop it right now. And I am thankful that I listened to myself and I'm like, this is not working, just stop it. Um, but then I'm like, okay, so what do I do? Do I go back to raw, when, which made me feel really good, but, you know, I'm losing pretty slowly, which I understand sometimes that's fine, but once you're done in CG, it's like, you kind of like want it now, you know? And so, <clears throat> and so I was like, okay, what to do? Let me figure out if I, if I do go back to raw, let me do some research and see how much people lose on average, and I was reading, and, you know, people do lose, and, you know, things like that, and I was like, Okay, maybe let's, we'll do it. And then I saw somebody um, um, talk about juicing and doing a juice fast. And I'm like, I, juicing has never been in my radar until I did raw because I didn't have a juicer. So I never even looked into it ever. Um, but now that I have a juicer, I'm like, hmm, let me see, let me see what this, you know, what the, this would entail. And so one, someone posted something about this documentary on um, Netflix called Fat, Sick, and Almost Dead. Um, which was this documentary about this Australian guy that came to the U.S. and did a um, juice fast for 60 days. Um, and, you know, it's all about how he cured his immune system because he had some issues. And it, it was just such an amazing transformation and just, like, shockingly amazing. Um, and I know myself, and I know that sometimes seems, like, really restrictive, um, you know, we'll call it diets or detox, I've never done like a detox per, per se, but I know that I've done restricted diets very well, like ACG. I think the fact that I had now, like I tweaked it a little bit and I can, I know what I could get away with was not helping me in ACG, but this is like, you're in, you're doing it, like you're juicing or not juicing, because if you're not juicing, you're not fasting. You're like, you're either 
in it fully or not, you know? And um, I just something clicked and, and it made me think, okay, this is gonna be, this is kind of like, um, so instead of just doing it wrong, which is gonna be slowly eating, losing weight, um, why don't you do this to kickstart the weight loss? And then um, do back to raw after you're done with it. And I was like, you know what, let me think about this. I did a lot more research and I looked into it and um, this morning I woke up and I said, let's do it. Let's do it. I am, I'm, it's just like, you know when things are right, you know? Okay, Momo wants to get in. Hi, Momo. Come on in, come on in. Hi, Amy. You want water? Okay, Momo wants water. Yeah, water. sorry so I just you just know you just know that something like seriously it was like before I was like oh my god like what do I do this kind of like it was like an epiphany and everything was like clear like everything was like okay do this and then transition and then it was like and then um, I don't know however I don't think this is gonna be easy at all I think it's gonna be hard as hell but I'm just like so excited about it I don't know it had to you know to explain it so like for example this is my dinner look how beautiful is this it's actually carrot juice um orange and um turmeric root that's what makes it really well the, or, the um, carrot and the turmeric makes it really orangey mm. it's really good actually like, i really really like it i did make one for lunch that i did not like that much it had lettuce and like it tasted like lettuce <laughs> so i'm like even though I put like strawberries and kiwi to mask it and mm -mm, I don't know about that one but I'm just excited I'm just doing a lot of research still um, but that's what I'm gonna do guys so I am gonna document this because I've never done um, fast before and or juice fast or detox or anything like that so let's see how it goes uh, today I was to uh, 17.8 I um I will do measure I haven't done measurements so maybe I will do measurements um tonight um and maybe a before and after picture um but that's uh that's where I'm at guys um so I'm gonna try to vlog as much as possible just because I've never done this before and I think it's gonna be very helpful I will do the 60 days uh, that will take me to November 23rd and um honestly I have no trip no nothing I have. I have not I have one trip which is like a like a healthy good for you trip um like thing I'm doing retreat so there's nothing in my path that's gonna probably like make me not wanna like wanna cheat or anything like that I think it's gonna help me detox definitely obviously not gonna have any alcohol it's just like everything that I think about it is just gonna be so good it's gonna be so good so wish me luck um and I'm just so happy that I found you know because I found juicing through the raw lifestyle and you just have to like really be listen to yourself and say okay what did I really love it made me feel good and it just I just kept coming back to that you know oh. other than also kissing big baby oh and kissing my baby oh, you want you want carrot juice he's so handsome you know so okay guys wish me luck um and I will keep you posted. Aloha. Mm -hmm. <laughs>